modify single area OSPF version 2. Addressing table, three routers, three PCs, and one server. Three routers, three PCs, one PC on each LAN, on each local area network, and a server on internet, on the cloud. Modify OSPF default settings, test connectivity between all end devices. Before modifying the OSPF settings, verify that all PCs can ping the web server and each other. For example, go to PC1, command prompt, and ping all devices. For example, PC2, okay. From PC1, ping PC2, and PC2 IP address is 172.16.2.2. 172.16.2.2. Okay, from PC1, enter. Success. Okay, success. And uh, ping from PC1, ping to PC3, and PC3 IP address is 192.168.1.2. And from PC1, ping 192.168.12. Enter. Success. Success. And finally, ping from PC1, ping the web server. Okay. The web server IP address is 64.100.12. Okay. From PC1, Ping 64 100 12 enter. Okay, success. Very good. Adjust the hello and that timers between R1 and R2. Okay, between R1 and R2, there is a link, this link, this uh, serial link and you will modify the settings of this link. Okay. On R1, go to interface serial 000. Okay, on R1, the interface serial 000 is the connection to R2. So that's why you will modify the serial 000 OSPF configuration and set the hello interval to 15. Okay, 15 seconds and uh, that interval to 60 seconds. Okay, go to R1, the command line interface, enter, enable configure terminal interface 0000, zero, zero, zero. IP OSPF, OSPF, hello dash interval 15 seconds, enter. And uh, that interval, that interval dash interval to 60 seconds and okay and now after a short period of time the ospf connection with r2 will fail okay. so you will see these log messages okay these messages and uh, the is down full down okay then wait a moment and you will see uh, that on this router r1 Okay, now you can see the OSPF process. Okay, that timer expired is down. Down. Okay. Uh, both sides of the connection need to have the same timer values in order for the adjacency to be maintained. Identify the interface on R2 that is connected to R1. Adjust the timers on the R2 interface to match the settings on R1. Okay, the connection from R2 to R1 is also the interface serial 000 with on R2 and configure this interface serial 000 with the same values as R1. Okay, go to R2, the command line interface on R2, enter, enable configure terminal, okay. Is the same uh, interface serial 000 on R2 interface serial 000 and set the same values 
IP OSPF hello interval 15, IP OSPF that interval 60, IP OSPF OSPF hello dash interval 15, enter and IP OSPF that interval 60, enter. Okay, and after a brief period of time, you should see a status message that indicates that the OSPF adjacency has been re-established. Okay, and you will see this OSPF process one, a new neighbor and serial 000, 000, 000 full. Okay, loading done. Okay, very good. This is re-established. Okay, and the question is uh, how to verify this these uh, intervals for example on r2 go to okay enter and end to go uh, privilege exit mode and show ip ospf interface okay show ip ospf interface enter space space and, and verify the this is the gigabit interface serial zero 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 okay this is the interface i want to review serial zero 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 okay and timer intervals hello 15 and that timer is 60. okay very good you can verify this and uh, if you see serial zero zero one okay this uh, on r2 this uh, another interface serial zero zero one you will see the by default the hello is 10 and that interval is 40. Okay, and you change it on serial 000, 000 uh, different values, hello 15 and that 60. Very nice. Adjust the bandwidth settings on R1. Trace the path between PC1 and the web server located at 64.100.12. Okay. From PC1, tracer to web server. Okay, go to PC1, tracer, um, web server IP address 641112, 641112, enter. Okay, you have uh, four hops. Okay, 172.16.1 is. Uh, this gigabit 00, 172611 is R1, gigabit 00, okay, so the first hub is R1, okay, and the second hub is 172.16.32, 172.16.32, serial 000, 000 on R2, serial 000, 000 on R2, so the second hub is R2, first hub R1, second hub R2, Go to PC1, another hop 209.165.200.226. Okay, it's another router in Internet Cloud. Is the third hop. And finally, 64.100.12 is the server. Okay, four hops, one, two, three, and four hops. Very good. Very good. And on the R1 serial 00, 00 interface, set the bandwidth to 64 kilobits per second. Okay, on R1, on serial 00, 00, 00, set 64 kilobits per second. Okay, this does not change the actual port speed, only the metric that the OSPF process on R1 will use to calculate the best routes. Okay, so on R1, interface serial 000, 000 change the bandwidth to 64 okay with 64 kilobits per second okay go to r1 enter and to go privilege exit mode and verify fields and before to do this verify the current and bandwidth okay show interface serial 000, 000 okay this interface serial 000, 000 show interface 0000, zero, zero, zero the space and you will see this bandwidth 1000 
544 kilobits per second, okay, or one megabit and a half, okay, 1,544 kilobits per second, and change only to a lower value, 64 kilobits per second, okay. Configure terminal interface, serial zero, 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 bandwidth, 64 kilobits per second, enter, okay, and, and verify show interface serial 000, zero, zero. and now bandwidth only 64 kilobits per second trace the path between pc1 and the web server located at 641012 okay go to pc1 and repeat the command tracer to the server enter and now you will have five hops the first hop is 172.16.1.1 okay 172.16.1.1 gigabit 00, 00 on r1 so the first hop is r1 the second hop is 182.168.10.6 okay uh, 182.168.10.6 serial 00, 00, 00 on r3 okay serial 00, 00, 00 on r3 so the second hop is r3 the third hop is 172.16.32 Okay, 172.16.32 on R2. So R2 is the third hop. Uh, 209.165.200.226 is a router on Internet Cloud, the fourth hop. And finally, the server, the fifth uh, hop. Okay, and uh, from PC1, the path is go to R1, to R3, R2 the cloud, and finally, the web server. This is the path. Uh, notice that the path from PC1 to the server is redirected through R3. OSPF prefers the lower cost path. Okay. Okay, this link has a lower bandwidth, so the cost is higher. Okay, higher than the than this another link. Okay, and go to R1 and review the remember show interface serial zero 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 shows the bandwidth sixty four kilobits. And you can show the cost show IP OSPF interface interface uh, serial zero 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 okay okay show interface serial zero 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 shows uh, the bandwidth 64 kilobits and show ip or spf interface serial zero 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 shows the cost and it's 1562 okay we review the bandwidth on serial zero zero one on r1 Show interface here at 001. Enter space and the band Y is uh, the default 1544 kilobits per second. And show IP OSPF interface serial 001. And the cost is 64. So the cost of serial 0, 0, 001 64 is a lower value than the cost of serial 0, 0, 0 interface. So that's why this another path is preferred than the previous path. Okay. Verify connectivity. Verify that all PCs can pick the web server and each other. Okay. Go to PC1. Ping PC2. PC2 IP address 172.16.2.2. Okay, ping 172.16.2.2, success. Uh, ping PC3, 182.168.12. 182.168.12, success. And ping the server, 64.100.12. Ping the server, 64.100.12, success. Okay, completion 100%. Thank you, thank you very much.